Hey folks, if you're using Bricks Builder to create your website, we've got something awesome for you. We're about to show you a fantastic element from our Bricks Ultra plugin that will supercharge your image showcase. Introducing the filterable gallery element, and it's a game changer for your Bricks. With this element, you can easily add multiple sets of images to your website, and each set can have its own unique name, like a filter. The best part? Your visitors can click on these filters to smoothly navigate your content, focusing on what interests them the most. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through every step to unlock the full potential of the filterable gallery element. Let's make your website truly unique and eye-catching. But before we dive into the tutorial, don't forget to click on the notification bell icon. This way, you'll subscribe to our channel and won't miss any of our upcoming videos in the future. Add filterable gallery element. In the filter section, you'll choose an icon for your filter, add a set of images, and give each one a label. These labels will become the filters that people can click on to sort and filter the images. Next, you'll choose whether you want your image gallery to look like a grid or a masonry layout. You can also pick how much space there should be between the images and decide how many columns you'd like in each row. Plus, you can decide what happens when someone clicks on a picture, it can open a lightbox, a website link, a media file, or a new page. You can even choose if you want to show the Alt tab button or not. Now, you can decide if you want to turn on the tilt feature. If you do, you can pick how the tilt effect works, whether it tilts x-axis, y-axis, or both. Next, you can choose whether to turn on the overlay feature. If you turn it on, you can also pick when the overlay should appear. When you hover over an image, it is always visible or hide on hover. You can also choose what information you want to show in the overlay, like the title, caption, or description of the image. You can choose if you want the filters to be stretched or not, decide where they should be on the page, and adjust the gap between them. You can also change how the filters and icons look using the styling features provided. In the image style settings, you need to choose how you want your image to look from the customization features provided. In the overlay style, you can customize the look of the overlay, icon, and caption with various styling features provided. And there you go. This is the final overview of the filterable gallery. Here, I've included three filters to simplify product filtering. Just click on an option to show products of that type, for example, clicking makeup will only display makeup images, the same applies to the other filters. If you click on all, it will show all the products you've added to the list. Thanks for watching. Now, go ahead and try making your filterable gallery. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications for more videos like this. You can also find the documentation and a demo page link in the description below.